Hi, my name's Alex. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slip knot. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this, so I'll talk you through a couple of the ways that I use. Um, I use slip knots mostly for doing crochet, but you don't need to use it for that. There's lots of um, reasons why you'd want to create a slip knot. Okay, so I've got my yarn I've placed on the table with the tail, so the cut end to the right, and I'm just going to curl it back over and onto itself. So you can see that that piece is on the top. Put my finger underneath the right hand side of that loop I've created and with my left hand I'm just going to pick up that yarn and pop it through that loop and I'm just going to grab that with my finger, pull it through. Now that becomes the slip knot or the part that you would actually put onto your hook. And you just tighten it by pulling the tail. Now you don't want it too tight if you're going to be doing chaining like I am showing here. Um, otherwise it gets a little bit hard to get the, uh, the hook through and to use that first chain when you're using it for crochet. So we'll just go through that again. Just curving that piece of yarn back over onto itself. So clockwise, finger through the loop, picking up the long part of the yarn, popping it through, and just dragging that through with my finger. There you have it. Really, really easy. Now by creating a slip knot, you would then chain, and that would be the start of a foundation row in crochet. And if you want to know more about that, there's a, a video, I'll link that in the description for you. Another way of creating a slip knot very easily would be to wrap the yarn around your finger, making sure it crosses over, so that you've got one section to go under. So you've got one piece of yarn there to go under with your hook. Turn around and grab that other piece, pull it through, and you're done. Then just pull on the tail or the, the working side of your yarn and tighten that uh, slip knot, not too tight, but tight enough to start working your crochet. Okay, now I'll show you how to do the same method, but wrapping the yarn over two fingers. And I find this is probably a little easier to work with than one finger. There you go, just holding that uh, tail with my thumb, wrapping it under my finger just to keep it all in place. Hook under, picking up that um, angled part of yarn at the back, slipping it off and just tightening that slip knot. Now the reason I find this a little easier to do is because when you're using two fingers, you have a little bit of a gap between, you can create that gap between your two fingers, which is just a little easier to navigate your hook. Okay, let's have a look at that again. Yarn over your fingers with the tail down, clamping down with your thumb to hold it in place, wrapping the yarn around two fingers, then back on an angle to the back. I'm going to pop that between my little finger and the next finger, my ring finger, just to hold it in place. Hook under the first strand, then picking up that back strand, twist and pull the yarn off your fingers, tighten and you're ready to go. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like um, and I'd love to hear your comments and also consider subscribing. I have a lot more really helpful crochet tips and projects. Until then, stay awesome.